Yay, Friday. Friday. Great Friday. time for some grape soup. Grape. Fermented grape. Fermented grape soup yeah, Friday. Some bubbles in it. Oh, nice. Anyway. Hi, everyone. Uh, I hope some people are joining me because I hate to talking to you because you... Oh, you know, there's only so much. I like hearing feedback, but anyway. I got told off the other day too for oh, talking, too much. talking too much. Just talking Hello, too much. Like, be quiet. Be let quiet. Her let her talk. Yeah. So we're going to see how that works out today. <laughs> Probably not well. <laughs> well. It's already started badly. Still going on. Look, still talking. Haven't shut up. Carry and on. And I live with him. Yeah, lucky. Um, I have done for like twenty something years. Six years. Or Yay. Something. Anyway. Anyway, I'm doing a stuffed zucchini today, and I know you're like, what? What? That and sounds boring as. But I want to show you how easy it is, zucchini. and you don't have to just do completely stuffed zucchini. If you don't like zucchini, you can do a completely stuffed capsicum. Or Living life on the completely edge. stuffed butternut. Oh, oh, completely stuffed oh, camera completely again. Stuffed camera again. We're saving up for a for new, new camera, camera yeah. Because that's ridiculous. Because uh, that's just every time we go live, it must be something to do with the whole. We know that you're going live, yeah. so just yeah. because you've gone live, we're going to yeah. do this. Gonna be annoying. Anyway, Carry on. this is what we are making now. I'm using chicken mince. You could do a vegetarian oh, sort much? of one. You could do um, a beef mince, a lamb mince. This you is know. good. This is good wholesome food. This is like good, it's not pretty. It, it's not particularly pretty. But look at I that. We have overcooked it slightly. It's okay. You're um, allowed. Because I was too busy writing up the recipe that you will find. But in yumskies. The but it is really nice and it's quite dry and crunchy. Oh. And I spilt some of the yeah. cheese. Oh yeah, look, look at that. Bits of cheese. Crispy right. cheese. It tastes so good. Mm. And it's something, and this is the beauty of it. And something you can use a lot of leftovers in if you yep. have them. It's something you can use frozen veg for, so your budget is low. It's really tasty. And I'm doing the whole thing in my fry pan. <laughs> so I'm saving on electricity. Jimmy says it's oven. great for someone with man flu, and he's absolutely right. Oh, right thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. thanks, mate. And so Red anyway, Rednecks loves it. Yeah. So I've got a zucchini. Zucchini. What do you cook? Is it Actually, cold? Jimmy, sorry, can you do me a favour and f share this in the group if you're able to? Oh, yeah, Just quickly, because right. I didn't get a chance to get my laptop. Thank you. Carry on. Carry on. I, I think... Zucchinis or courgettes are the same thing. Isn't a courgette a type of car? Mm, a courgette, no. And it's also not the thing that you wear on your wrist as a la lady. As a lady. As a lady. You can take someone to a ball and get her a courgette. Get her a courgette to wear on her wrist. wrist. That would look just lovely. Look at that. Just look at that. Yeah. Lovely. So anyway, I'm also going to show you some tips that I've got. Some tips. Mm -hmm. I said. Yep. Uh, for bulking out your dinner. So with a lot of these stuffed vegetables or... Um, God, they look really different when you chop them in half versus chopping in, the chopping in slices. slices. Yeah. Yep. You need to see a lot less of the seeds. So you don't have to be so pretty no. at all because the more of the boat, the better. The more of the boat, the but, better. But see, a lot of people would actually throw all that stuff. All that stuff out. Now, just you wait. So, just you wait. Just you I'm wait, Henry you. Higgins. Just you wait. I'm to show you what I do. So anyway, you want? I'm only. I've I've put in the recipe for two zucchinis. Mm -hmm. it just depends how many people you want to purchase for. I mean, this would doing one zucchini and half in the the con, other stuff of the recipe mm. would be a really good, quick and easy Friday night meal yep. for someone who's just wanting to make dinner for them. Yep. Um, and you're getting your so veggies. And you're getting a good amount of and veggies. It looks cool. Looks cool. Thanks, Jimmy. Jimmy has done the sharing. Well done. Thank Thanks, you, mate. Jimmy. Okay, so I've got my, my zucchini. Hi, Mel. My zucchini meat. Let's call that zucchini meat. Zucchini Hello. meat. Now, I've got my fry pan on a medium heat, medium to low heat. And I've just got some oil in there because let's some face oil it, oil it. tastes nice. This is, this is what we're heading towards, all right? Nice home cooked. What did, what did you call it? Stuffed zucchini. It's completely stuffed. And good day to you, Alana. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Good now, day. I've got some fennel seeds, and as we all know, it's best oh, to make them hot. Yeah, I love the fennel, the smell so of the fennel seed. why yeah. that fennel seed is Fenneling. making itself hot and fennel-enneling, fennel I am just going to... Hi, Rachel. Oh, Rachel says it looks yummy. Look at you finely I'm slow. going to sort of mince up my zucchini meat. So yummy in my tummy, says Alana. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, just look, yeah. But so Melanie is saying that zucchini is one of her favourite vegetables. Yeah, and you know what? Fresh zucchini 
fresh vegetables are quite expensive, but zucchinis are coming down in price now because they're a real winter vegetable. And they're quite bland if you just sort of boil them with yeah. the carrots or whatever. Well, you do, you do it with a lot of, um, do you do really lot. nice butter. I, I fry them fry so them. they're almost burnt on the outside yeah, and butter yummy. and garlic. And butter and garlic, it's the garlic that makes them. Yeah, infuses so the flavour through. It's like um, yep. Brussels sprouts. I don't like Brussels sprouts. They're popular at the moment in the social medias. Yeah, yeah, they really are. People have worked out how to cook them better, apparently. So I always think they taste sour, but that just could be... My niece used to love them. She probably still loves them. Mm. She's not so little now, but when she was little, she used to call them business carrots. Business carrots? Yeah. Why? Why? Russell sprouts? Or business carrots. Well, I think because she, she remembered that she liked them, and she yeah. was like, but, but, but business carrots, because there's sense. something that you have with carrots, yep. generally, you know, because yep. you boil them up. Yeah, I want some business carrots. Yeah, lots of butter, garlic, and pepper. Yeah. You got it, Mel. You guts it. Okay. Mm. So, so we're cutting up. I've got. See, that looks cool. Well, it is. And what it's going to do is just give more volume. Yeah. So you're not throwing the stuff away. So you're not throwing it away. You don't need to throw it away. No. You're not going to taste it because no. it's going to take on. So it's a bulking other agent. It's a bulking agent. A little bit like grated carrot. If you need stuff to go further, grate some carrot into it. It's really good. Sounds great. So. Chicken mince. Chicken mince. Did you mince it yourself? I'll put it in a pack of mint. Uh. Some onion. Onion. Now, if you don't like onion or chicken mince, leave it Just out. Don't do Pop it. it up with more vegetables. Um, if you don't like any of these veggies, replace it. Just replace it's it. The, with it's the concept, is, the, the concept is. So you do it. You could stuff a capsicum. You could stuff a zucchini. Yep. You could stuff a pumpkin. pumpkin. Potato. Yep. Yep. Um, With stuff. Anything, any vegetable that you can carve out in the middle of. Yep. So. There you go. So this is what we're heading towards. Yeah. And it's got crispy cheese and So now yummy. remember I did put my fennel in there. To fennel, fennel went in there. Through. But the other thing we are using is thyme. Yeah. So because thyme and fennel, I don't know why, but it tastes really nice together. Yep. So Jim, Jim, Melanie suggested mushrooms. Well, Mel, no. look at that. Still coming. They are the still coming. Mushies. And um, Jimmy's just come to get some red grape soup. So, oh, Jimmy, red grape soup. Mm. I think I'm going to go white grape soup. White grape soup tonight? Bubbly white grape Bubbly soup. White grape soup. I found mm. one I really, really like, so that's always good. It is. Okay, so I've just got my chicken mince starting to brown there, which is awesome. Nice. Now, we're going to show you because I did say this was kind of like a one pan wonder because I'm a little bit of a lazy cook really. I, you're not lazy, you're efficient. Well, yeah, I feel, that's a better word for saying lazy. <laughs> so, anyway, I just want to push that down my end because what I'm actually going to do with my, if we can come up, do you raise hand? No, oh, do you look like a zucchini? Chuck them in there. Chuck them in. Upside down first. Whack that off. Really easy. Really easy. Now, I have got some mushrooms. Mushroom, Mel, mushrooms for Mel. Mushrooms in there. Mushrooms in there. Oh, nice. I've also got some lemongrass. Now, you might say, hmm. Mm. And if you haven't got it, leave it out. It really yeah, I love lemongrass. Really nice little background pan. We need to make that lemongrass chicken again I that know, we did. But it, remember, it had lots of sugar in it. Yeah. And so some good thyme. So a little bit of time. A little bit of. There we go. There's product plug, fennel seeds, thyme. And it smells really, really nice. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah. What's yeah. everyone doing for the weekend? Oh, just get some conversation going while we're cooking. Yeah. What are you doing? What's everybody cooking tonight? Yeah, what's everyone doing tonight? I'd like to know because Friday night dinners in our house are traditionally like an easy. Yeah. Often we're well, depending on the budget, we might do a tea tonight and we yeah. Um, pizza or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I might make a pizza. Might make a pizza tonight. You've so decided. anyway, we just want that because chicken mince doesn't take well, mince doesn't take long to cook, and if you overcook your chicken mince, it's you're gonna actually going to dry it out. Yeah. So we just want to leave that for just around a minute, and then I'm going to pop in some um, corn. Now this is just frozen corn kernels, but say you had Easy. dinner last night and you've got like one corn cob left. Just done. Cut it off. If you've got a couple of leftover yep. beans or some, you know, you've oh, got basically one serving. Sorry, Mel's making homemade beef hamburgers. I love a good you homemade hamburger. hamburger. But you're really good at them. Too. Yeah. Mel, check a photo up in the group. Oh, yeah. Interesting to see how you go. So, anyway, 
what I'm trying to say is either use up your leftovers, use up um, use up the stuff that's going a bit floppy. You know, you could put some um, Yum. celery in there. You could do lots of different Yum. stuff. Jimmy's making a chicken wellington with fresh veggie, veggie stir fry and blue cheese mash. Oh, oh blue cheese mash sounds good. Is that mashed with potato? Mashed potato with, with blue cheese? Is that mashed potato with blue cheese? Ooh. Oh, and Mel's burger's got bacon. Of course it's got bacon. Good on you. Good on you, Mel. So, I'm wanting to split my zucchini now. So the whole point of the zucchini is that we just... Now, you actually... Zucchini just oh. needs to soften in there. We are cooking the zucchini at this stage. Rachel, Rachel's having mints and roast veggies. Mm. Num. Mm. I love roast veggies. And Jimmy said yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Nice, Jimmy. Sorry. Nice, Jimmy. Um... If you really wanted to do this in your oven, you could. I'm just showing you how you can do it all. Yeah, you could bake it through, couldn't you? Yeah, but it was you all in one, one pan wonder. If you, or if you wanted to make this, say you've just done your spag bowl for dinner tonight, hmm. and you're not quite ready for dinner, or the pasta's boiling while your mince is sitting there, wash it out, or keep the flavours in, whatever you prefer, yep. and, and make this for dinner tomorrow night, because it will keep in the fridge for a night. It will. And then you can heat it in your oven. She wanted them... It's about your one pan stuff. One of the most mm. popular recipes, I think, on the recipes.com or whatever is a one pan recipe. People love that stuff, don't they? Oh, well, it makes life easier. Yeah, it does. And now, nowadays, Sweet potato there's and potato a lot mash. of um, yeah. like apartment living in that. They yeah. don't have a full kitchen. No. So it's really important to, Just be, to be able to do, do that. Like um, yeah. It is a um, Jimmy's a sweet potato and potato mash with blue cheese is yummy. Oh, yum. Yes. And Alana's yeah. having a stew. Salt. A bit of salt. I haven't put the amounts in because. Guys, just to flavour. To, to taste. To really. flavour. To, to taste. To and obviously, I'm using mushrooms, so it's going to require more salt because I believe mushrooms need more salt. Don't they soak up salt? They do. They absorb salt. So you if you ever over salt something, check some mushrooms. Potato or mushrooms in. And just a quick little, little, little zoom in on what we're making here. Here we go. So that one was possibly a little bit overcooked, but I am. Um, you were multitasking. I'm going to do a prep, prep meal for the meal that we're making prep. live. Well, we do. There you go, it's starting to look so, nice. It is starting to look nice and colourful. Tasting right? Oh, fell out my mouth. Oh well. Mm. Yeah, flavour's good. good. So the lemongrass will be coming through. Yeah, it's, re it's, it's really subtle. subtle, the lemongrass, because there's not too much of it. Yeah. Um, if you love more lemongrass, by all means, put more in. So. Oh. And now we're talking about grape, grape soup. I really want a grape soup. You want, you want some grape soup? Mm. We haven't got any grape soup. I'm just yeah, looking at our wine rack there. It's very empty. empty, our grape soup holder. Same. Oh, stuffing. Okay, so I'm just stuffing it in. in your little zucchini boat. My little zucchini man boat. And the thing is, kids might like this too. Put, yep. put the stuffing in that kids are going to like because they're more likely to eat it. Thanks for sharing, Mel. You're our legend. It's, you know, colourful. And don't worry, because I always make too much stuffing. Now, um, Alana's asked a question. Yes. So, she's doing a roast lamb this week. Is it okay to use the kiwi blend mix, but only on half of it, because her grandmother can't have garlic? Yeah. Well, I guess so. The, the flavours will still sort of... Half on it, or half... Oh, whoa! Whoa! Popcorn! Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sorry um, the food's exploding. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The flavours will still gel, um, and it is really tasty. So if yeah, if you want to do that, by all means. Yeah. Was that the pop? Was that the corn that popping in? That's the corn. It's literally the corn popping. That's in. rad. <laughs> Almost took me eye out. So anyway. Stuffed zucchini. Stuffed zucchini. Now this is the magic, and if you want to leave this bit, bit out, if you're, if you. Uh, um, oh, the other good thing, sorry. Yes. This this would be gluten free. Now I'm not a dietitian, but nothing I've used in here has gluten. Gluten, yeah. Uh, it's so really good for celiacs, etc. So um, oh, so we've got celiac week coming up. Um, it which has which been. no no it's coming up. It Jimmy, no, I'm talking to Jimmy about it. It's coming up. So we're right. gonna we're gonna work with um with Jimmy on some stuff there. Yeah. Um and I've got a friend who's celiac. So yeah, um, that'd be cool. So yeah, so that'd be yep. awesome. 
Um, yes, it is, says and Jimmy. And also, if you are lactose intolerant or... Uh, actually, this could be... Oh, what could it, what else use, could it be? If you use just vegetables, vegetarian... I'm vegetarian. Slash vegan if you didn't use the cheese. Wow. So, mid, mid June is um, celiac week, so we're gonna uh, lead into that. So I'm just using some cheese now. In the recipe, I've said some cheese. Some cheese. Um, because I like people to use whatever they they have in the fridge. It could be parmi well. or. So this is parmesan that yep. I'm putting on. Yum. Um, now, if I was going to buy it, I would probably buy the pizza blend or something like that. Yeah, so to make it melty. Stringies yeah. and everything. Mozzarella. And then I'm just using, to be honest, grated tasty cheese. Yep. Nice and simple. It's tasty and it's cheese. Oh, nice. I wonder why they call it tasty I cheese. Oh. Now, I just also wanted to show you, don't stress the fact that... If don't I'm, stress. Don't stress. Stop, Stop stressing, stressing, everybody. I'll just move that guy to the side. See how that bit's gone down there? Well, that's going to make a really yummy, crispy topping, so don't panic about Ooh. that. Now, so a little bit of leftover, a little bit of fall off, it doesn't matter. Exactly, because then it's going to come, and look, I have a bit more fall off there. Look, so you're going to get crunchy, crispy bits. Crunchy, next crispy, to your, cheesy uh, bits. Oh, I was looking at that bit, but no, no, you have it. It's fine. I know, I suppose, I'm not trying to. Well, you're the one who made it as well, so. Um, so pop the lid on, and really you're just wanting to keep cooking in that until your zucchini is soft yeah. and your cheese is melted. So does the zucchini take much to cook? Not really. Not really no. And because we've hulled it, yeah, it's, it's, really, anyway. it's going to be a lot quicker. Yep. But also by putting those warm ingredients in it, it's, it's going to cook through the other way. Cook. Oh, look at you go with your knowing what to do. So yeah, so basically in about three, four, five minutes tops, that's going to that's be going to be to, done to serve up on and the table. Away. Look at it. And as you can see, I've put uh, the extra filling on the side. Stoop. I would have easily filled. Oh, you know what you could do things. as well is that you could make one with that same recipe. Is that you could make the what is it the um, San Choy Bao yes, type thing? So you really could have really zucchini. Really. And actually use your, your filling, have a lettuce leaf sitting there Absolutely. with your with that stuff in it. Stuff so in. enjoy about. So it's amazing. So it I just want to show you how easy it is. Now also, if you wanted to uh, take away the chicken mince and add some cooked rice, so you got yeah, yeah, pull, a little bulk bit it out of even more. rice from last night, put that in, bulk it out even more yep. for the kids. Yep. Um, yeah. So Go cut one of those up. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. look. Let's have a look. Now I might get so there we go. So that is our recipe for completely stuffed zucchinis. Um, as we, is it, yeah, no, it's gone nice and floppy and look at that. So it's look. easy, it's clean. It's, it's very clean, clean living. eating. Clean of eating. Mm. In the face. Tastes really good. Mm. Yep. And you're eating a lot of vegetable balls. And you are. That's the thing. You're eating a lot of veggies. Yeah. Tastes good? Mm. Mm. Early tea. Mm. Early tea. Mm. Mm. We've just got to go find some of that grape soup. Yeah, I might yeah. need to go stroll yeah. find some grape soup. But anyway, guys. Thank you so for watching. That, that is really, that is it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for oh, commenting thank once for watching. again. Thanks for, commenting. Thanks for um, joining our group. If you want to win a prize, YouTube. please watch our uh, Facebook Live on Wednesday. When we just done? Yeah, that, just, last, just Wednesday. last Wednesday. We got a prize running on that one. Favorite so fruit, I think, wasn't it? Favorite fruit off yep. the top of my head. Yep. I'll draw that next Wednesday. Yes. So you've still got time to enter and like and share and do and post and love and. Thanks, Mel. Um, and so, yeah, have a good weekend. A lovely weekend. Surviving the school holidays, etc. So Yay. another really easy thing for the kids to whip up. And Mother's Day is coming up too, so this could be something that the dads and the mums could do. Uh, dads and the kids could do for the mums. Yep. You know, something, something like easy. that. A good Anzac Day, something. Good Anzac Day. Or we would we might do a um, Anzac Day biscuit, cookie, yeah. biscuit thing. But we can't call it an answer. No, we can. You can, yeah, as long yeah. as we use the right recipe, the right ingredients. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's enshrined in law. Anyway, rock and roll. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a great Have weekend. Have a lovely weekend. Thank Bye. you for your comments. Thanks for your watching, and we'll see, see you next week. Bye. Bye.